So for people who are interested in a genealogy project for their family, where do they even start? Before you even start researching, you have to ask yourself a couple hard questions. You have to keep in mind that our ancestors may have lived their lives differently uh, and made different types of choices that you might make. If you don't want to discover that you have relatives that you didn't know about, um, you should not engage in a genealogy project. Um, the same is true with second cousins who married. It is very common, especially in you know, these small communities where our ancestors lived. Uh, if you don't want to know that you have an ancestor who was in prison or who was institutionalized, um, these are things that pop up all the time. Now, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. There's a lot of great stuff that comes out too, right? Um, but, but that is something to seriously consider. And what goes hand in hand with that is what kind of happens with the beauty of the internet and um, this kind of whole new field of DNA. When you set up your family tree on websites like Ancestry.com, there are a bunch of different privacy settings and each website has a different privacy setting. So it's not easy to navigate, but you should again, think long and hard about whether you wanna make your information, your personal information public in such a way that you could be contacted by people who are family members who you would rather not know existed. Now, mm -hmm. some people get really jazzed about meeting distant cousins in different countries that they didn't know about, and that's why they're doing this type of project, and that is terrific. But if you don't wanna get a phone call from you know, someone who could be a half sibling or your father or mother's half sibling, then, then really think about, about this project before you get started. Okay, for those who decide that they do want to start this project, what's the next step? Well, so there, there are basically four, I mean, the internet has revolutionized this, right? So there's basically four big players. You set up your, your family tree, they save it for you, they help you expand on it, they feed you all this data that, about potential relatives. Ancestry.com uh, has something like 20 billion records um, in, their, in their databases. Um, FamilySearch.org, they, uh, you can do the same thing there, create your family tree, they will feed you suggestions, but it's free. So if you're not sure whether you actually want to pay for this, if you just want to dip your toe in the water, Family Search is a great place to start, just to kind of see what's out there. So, so if I decide to go to one of these online genealogy services, what's, what's my homework? What do I have to do besides just setting up my basic information? And is the expectation then that I would be uploading the old documents that I found in the garage? Different websites are set up differently. So familysearch.org is just about giving you information for the most part. Ancestry.com loves it when you upload information. So in Ancestry, you can put people's pictures in there, you can upload uh, special documents, you can communicate with other researchers. Um, and it, again, it's a, a, lot about, a lot of this is about the privacy issue. Are you choosing to have Ancestry be this repository of all this information that you have and you've uncovered and have it kind of exponentially um, grow your tree because Ancestry is now matching their own data against your data? Um, and, and again, just a personal question. You don't have to upload your stuff, but you certainly can. Okay, good. I think that there's so much to say about genealogy and how to do this online. So we'll have you back for another episode on this tomorrow. But as we wrap up this segment, uh, Claymont, any, any other bullet point to share? Sure. Um, in addition to the big four, there's any number of smaller databases out there um, that are regional databases that are based on your ethnicity or religion. Um, and eventually you're gonna end up having to go to a county courthouse or something. So as great as the online websites are, also be prepared at some point to, uh, you know, march down the street to your local uh, historical society or something because that's gonna be part of this project. <laughs>